Again, if you were foolish enough not to have finished this quiz, the dumbest thing to do would be to copy out the answers right now and think that's learning. The smart thing to do would be to wait a couple of days and try the quiz on your own. Oh, we got another latecomer. They're just pouring in. Good morning. Here we go. Mark your own. Oh, we have my favorite student again. I'll put the answer key online. Again, if you don't like your score on a quiz, you can always redo a quiz. Gabrielle's going to put the phone away before I freak out. Thank you. Uh, convert 60 meters per second to kilometers per hour. I've been amazed to find that some people, even though I said this was worth writing down on their purple formula sheet, you know, the one that you're allowed to bring into tests, didn't write this down on their test. To go from 60 meters per second to kilometers per hour, it's something to do with a 3.6. Times or divide? And to go from 108 kilometers per hour to meters per second, it's something to do with a 3.6. Times or divide? You guys wrote it down. I'm now going to give you a dumb way that you can figure this out. You don't have to use this, but you know I hate memorizing stuff if I can figure something out. So this is what I do every time. I know it has something to do with a 3.6. I'm going to do number two first, going from kilometers per hour to meters per second. And I'm always wondering, Bray, ah, ah, is it divide or is it times? So what I do is I make up an easy example. I pick a really easy speed to work with, freeway speed. How fast do you go on the freeway, not on the highway, on the freeway in kilometers per hour? Because it's a nice, lovely round number. You guys are getting your licenses soon. You need to know this. How fast do you go on the freeway? Not on the highway, on the freeway. It's a lovely, nice round number. 100, because I can do math with 100. If it's times, I would go 100 times 3.6. If it was times, that would be 360 meters per second. Or if I want to put it in numbers that Cam will understand, three and a half football fields per second, 360 meters. Cameron, have you been on the freeway before? Yes. Have you looked out the window? Are you going three and a half football fields every single second? You know what? It's not times, it's divide. Camp, that's how I figure it out every time. I go on the freeway in my head, I go use 100. Nice, easy number. I go, if it's times, that'd be 360. I'm not going 360 meters a second on the freeway. It's not times. What is it then? That's going to go from kilometers per hour. So I know this one's divide, and I think I can then reasonably say that the next one is times. So um, 60 times 3 points. You know what? I can do this in my head. 60 times 3 is going to be 180. 60 times 0. 0.6 is going to be uh, is 216? Yes? Units. Uh, this one I'm not, although this one might work out evenly. 108 divided by, oh, try that again. 108 divided by 3.6, 30. 30 what? Units. If you miss the units, half mark off, okay? Otherwise, I would, you know what, one mark, all or nothing. I'm not going to go part marks here. If you didn't write down, I think uh, I told you on your purple sheet to kind of write down, we did it with little loops and arrows and things. That's worth putting on your purple sheet. Or Marcus, I gave you a way that you can figure it out with about one second of thinking. Freeway, 100 kilometers per hour. Is it time? No, it's not. It's gotta be divided. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, you know what? A dog is running at uh, 18 meters per second. How far will it run? How far? They're asking me to find that. They gave me this. They gave me this. I think the equation that I'm going to use is that one. It's going to be 18 times 24. 18 times 24. Uh, 432? Yes? No? Yes? Yeah. Units? Meters. I would give you if you got the right answer, you get two out of two. If you forgot units, take a half mark off. Otherwise, I go one mark for that, a half mark for the numbers, and a half mark for the answer. 
what you're going to realize, Sam, the way I mark my tests is never leave anything blank. I will give you one or a half mark if you can e even show me the correct equation because that says to me, Nevada, well, you knew how to start and I th I'll reward that. Don't leave stuff blank. How long will it take to travel? Oh, how long? I almost always do that because Taylor, I feel better. I know what I'm looking for and it's no longer blank. I'm more relaxed. I see 4,500 meters. I think that's a distance. I see uh, 25. Now I want to get the T by itself. I don't remember if I gave you this equation on your formula sheet or not, but I just wrote down that one. See the T, see the T, see the T, see the T? What else is next to it, Braden? What letter? What's the V doing to the T mathematically? Adding, subtracting, multiplying? How could I move the V to the other side then using my good old equation solving rules? What's the opposite of timesing by V? You know what? I've never memorized that equation. It's a waste of my brain power. I derive it every time. Um, it's going to be 4,500 divided by 25. 180? Yep. Yeah. I can do math in my head. Units? Seconds. seconds. Again, if you got 180 seconds, I will give you two out of two. If you did not, I would give you one mark for the equation, a half mark for the numbers, and a half mark for the answer. I like number five. I like number five. I like number five. Number five is a nice question. Um, the speed of sound is 330 meters per second. If I shout at a mountain and I hear my echo after six seconds, how far away is the mountain? Okay, it looks like this question is asking me to find... By the way, how many marks is this one worth? Maybe there's a trick. I'm a good test writer. I notice when a question is worth more, it suggests, Isabella, there's an extra step or be more cautious or there's something different about it. Uh, what's that 330? What's that 330? Velocity. Velocity or speed. What's that 6, Cam? Uh. Oh, so I can go like this. Oh, sorry, write the equation, Mr. Duick. D equals VT. That's the equation that's got a V, a T, and a D. Um, and the D is by itself already. When I do this, I get, uh, oh, it should be, but well. 330 times 6, I get that. Is that right? That gets you two marks. Why is that wrong? Why is this three marks? What do I need to realize here? Okay, so what is the actual distance? Twice as big or half as big? Half as big. Okay, that gets you three marks. Otherwise, I would go one mark for that, one mark for that, and then one mark for the answer. The other way you could have done it is if, instead of dividing the distance in two at the very end, you could have said, oh, if it takes six seconds there and back, how long just to get there? How long just to get there? Three. Could have just used three seconds and got there in one fell swoop. Either method's fine. Number six, what does number six A want me to find? How fast, where does speed appear? What kind of a graph is this? It's a distance versus time graph. Where does speed appear on a distance versus time graph? Slope, you say? So I'm gonna go rise over run. I'm gonna do that over here. The slope is 7.5 minus five. Yeah, it's a decimal, suck it up. You can deal with it over 9 minus 3. There's my rise. There's my By the way, this slope here, positive or negative? I'll just make sure I make, whenever I write my final answer, positive. Uh, I get uh, 2.5 over 6. Or if you wanted to do that in one fell swoop, you would say put brackets around the top, divided by brackets around the bottom. And I get a slope of that. I'm going to go 
0 0.42, 0 0.417 I'd take. If you wrote 0 0.416 repeating, I'd take that too. I'm just gonna argue, probably technically I should only go to one sig fig because of that nine, but we decided we're gonna kind of ignore sig figs for the remainder of the year. So I'm gonna go 0 0.42. Units, one mark. What is the equation of this line? So to get the equation, I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. Except instead of y, what letter would be smarter to pick for my y-axis since it's distance? Yeah, let's pick a letter that makes sense. And instead of x, what letter would be use, smart to use for t -t 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 time? T, you say? I I'm going to drop the, oh, the m.42 plus, what's the y-intercept? That's why I gave you that point. That is the y-intercept, okay? I gave you exactly, all you need for any line, actually only two points, but I gave you three points, the y-intercept. So uh, 4.5. If you got that right, you get two marks. Otherwise, I would go something like this. One mark for the slope in the right place, one mark for the 4.5. But if you were missing a T or a D, I'd take a half mark off. Does that make sense? If you can give yourself a lovely score, please, out of 12, that would be wonderful. Nope. Let me pause. Last day, we looked at velocity versus time graphs. On a distance versus time graph, what does the slope tell you? What does the height tell you? How far? On a velocity versus time graph, what does the slope tell you? Acceleration. What does the height tell you? How fast? I gave you a bunch of questions. Now, I promised you time in class today to work on this. I was going to do a whole new lesson today. Instead, I'm going to press pause. What I'm going to be giving you is take home quiz number two and a bunch more practice drawing these, but I'm not going to be doing a new lesson. So let me hand some stuff out. You guys can murmur amongst yourselves, and then once I've handed everything out, I'll walk you through it, and then I'm going to shut up. So today, you're going to get the rest of class, a full hour. You're going to get the headphone out of your ear before I lovingly wrap it around your neck. I hope it wasn't there the whole time. I hope not. Thank you, my friend. Um, first goal, you want to see if you can finish the homework from last day. I did promise I'd give you guys some time to work on that, okay? Second thing, for sure, the take-home quiz number two. This is a fairly long one, so let's take a quick look at this, please. It says, examine this graph carefully. What kind of a graph is this? That's the question you're going to be asking yourself for the rest of the year, anytime you see a graph. Don't just assume, oh, flat means at rest. It depends on the graph, right? Okay, so you can answer how far the truck is from its starting point after. Uh, you can answer all those. And then you can find the truck's velocity in each of the intervals, A through E. How would I find the velocity? That's what you need to know for the quiz. Then if we go to the next page, circle the correct answers. So section A is either circle speeding up or circle slowing down or circle constant speed. And then section A is moving either circle forwards or backwards, whichever one you think is correct. Section B is moving faster than A or slower than A, circle which one you think is correct. Here, circle true or false. So the object is at rest on interval C, the object is at rest on interval D, true or false. What interval is the object at rest, E, F, G, or H? When is the object traveling the fastest? Turn the page over. Okay. Says, use the following graph for question four. From the graph above, calculate the average speed for the entire 22 seconds. This is something that was on your instantaneous velocity homework that we did last week. This is something about eight of you asked me about, but many of you haven't, and I suspect it's something you don't know how to do, so I put it on a quiz. So you'll either ask or you'll figure it out. See how mean I am? Then find the average speed for each of the following time intervals from 0 to 2, from 4 to 8, 
from 14 to 18, from 6 to 17 seconds. And then C, instantaneous speed. This is when you're going to use that tangent line, laying down your ruler, drawing a line, finding the slope of that line. For uh, C and D, for part C1 and part C2, when we mark that next class, there's going to be a range of answers. So if you're comparing your answers with your neighbor, you might notice, oh, I'm making this up. You got 6.8, I got 6.3, probably I'll take that. You got 6.8, I got 2.1, probably I won't accept one of those. Is that okay? That's the quiz. No answer key yet for the quiz, because that you got to figure out on your own. Then, the second sheet that I gave you, which is called Interpreting Graphs. So, for this, you're going to do lots of sketching. Sketching, here's a distance versus time graph. Sketch what you think the velocity versus time graph look like, looks like. And really, we're interested in the shape, because I didn't put any numbers on these graphs. So, you can't actually calculate the slope. Same with number four, five, and six. All we're going to be doing is getting tougher and tougher with our graphs. 7, 8, and 9, ooh, what does that mean? 10, 11, 12, then if you turn the page over, then if you turn the page over, then if you turn the page over, I start giving you velocity versus time graphs. Ooh, and I'm saying, can you sketch the distance versus time graph? Can you sketch the acceleration versus time graph? Here's another velocity versus time graph batch. Can you sketch the distance and the acceleration. Some of these are going to be getting harder than I'll ask on the test. Hey, that's good. The homework should be tougher. And then the very, very last set, wow, they're giving me uh, here an acceleration graph. Oh, they're even giving me numbers. Uh, oh, Mr. Duick, what will I do there? I'm going to let you try and puzzle it out. I'll let you try and puzzle it out. Did I attach an answer key? What that means is I'm going to print up a couple of answer keys and you can borrow them. I'll also, in about five minutes, have the answer key online on my website. What's my website? Oh yeah, there's even a bonus video game that you can work on while you're at home as well. Some of you may even find it so addictive that you choose to fi fi uh, finish some of the other worlds. How many of you finished the bonus video game already? It's good. When you wrap your brain around, it's kind of cool, a little fun, educational. Oh, I'm really having to think about how slope and velocity and all that works, yes? Learning and video games, how often does that happen? So, in terms of priority, this is absolutely due next class. Then I would finish this. Then I would finish uh, interpreting graphs. However, I'm missing this one here from about half of you. So if you haven't finished that, that's also your goal to get in today. I don't press pause very often, but I thought I overwhelmed you last class, so I'm going to press pause today. That's my way of saying, use it wisely, my angels. Okay?